And we are beginning with one of the longest running real life mysteries in Houston's history. For the first time on TV, a man confesses to one of the Killing Fields murders. Investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski sat down with the guy who says he did it. His name is Mark Stallings. I sat down with him in prison for about an hour. And in that time, he laid out a raw and uncensored chain of events that led to the murder of a young woman. He's clear and convincing. I'd walk out there right now point you where she was. About what happened 25 years ago. You knew from the moment you picked her up. Exactly. When I picked her up, I knew exactly what I was doing. Mark Stallings had picked up the young woman on Telephone Road. They went to a motel, Stallings says, and did some drugs. And then, you know, I told her, I said, look, you know, let's go for a ride. That ride took them south to League City and a field off I-45 in Calder Road where Stallings once worked as a ranch hand and where three bodies had already been discovered in the 1980s. The young woman with Stallings would be the fourth in the Texas killing field. I ended up getting the, the seatbelt that hit her in the head with the, the seatbelt buckle right, and then I wrapped the, the seatbelt around her neck and choked her out. You say yeah. choked her out, meaning? Yeah, I choked her out, no. You kill her? Yeah, no, no. The body was found months later in 1991. Decomposed, authorities have never been able to identify the woman, known only by this artist rendering as Janet Doe. It wasn't the first time Stallings admitted to killing Janet Doe. February 2014. Jim Carroll is an ex-con himself who exchanged letters with Stallings for more than two years. I know I had no right to take this young girl's life. For Carroll, the tone of the letters is clear. I think he's trying to clear his conscience because he knows he's not going to get out. Stallings is serving two life sentences for unrelated crimes. If he is, in fact, clearing his conscience, he's doing so in great detail. See where that, that, that's exactly where I put her. Even pointing out the location of Janet Doe's body on a map he drew for Jim Carroll. Texas has convicted people for less than this. But to this day, Mark Stallings has not been charged in the murder of Janet Doe. Indict him. It's not that simple, say investigators at the League City Police Department. Just because somebody says they did something, it doesn't always give us enough ammunition to actually take them to court. Marty Grant was one of the original detectives on Janet Doe's case and says Stallings confessed back then too, but later recanted. And now Grant says his story's changing again. Some of the things he told you does not corroborate some of the things he told me all those years ago. Throwing more questions into the mix. Do you have any remorse? Who to believe, what to believe. I should have done what I did. Adding to the mystery of the Texas killing fields. Stalling says he never even knew the name of the woman he killed. His interview gives investigators new hope that he will once again talk about Janet Doe. As for the other three women found in the Calder Road field, well, Stalling says he had nothing to do with their deaths and police tell me they continue to build a case against another suspect in those murders. Jeremy Rogowski, KHOU 11 News. League City Police are still trying to figure out Janet Doe's identity. They're looking for any families that had a person vanish during that time period for possible DNA matches. Now you can find out more information on KHOU.com.